Phil, let's get to it. You love bonds and stocks. You've loved it all year. <laughs> Why hasn't this data changed that story for you? Yeah, so, you know, being an asset allocator over the past couple of years, John, was like trying to see the eclipse yesterday without those special glasses. <laughs> and now the glasses are on, and we can kind of see this soft landing view play, in, play out. And when you say, yes, we love stocks and bonds, I want to be really, really clear about something. You know, this soft landing view that was hope is now reality. Why? Because you have a Federal Reserve that's basically saying this hot inflation number that started the year yep. are, are bumps in the road, and the story is essentially the same, okay? And at the same time, they took their growth forecast this year from 1.4 to 2.1 and said, we're good on the three cuts, okay? So they're easing into strength, which supports the nominal growth view. And then on the bond side, listen, we are not bullish just rates falling or core bonds. What we're saying is we don't have a recession view and we like credit. And the credit story is not a home run, okay? It's additional yield over our index, which is a form of alpha. And then really big picture things, John, I think the, you know, the double sevens, the $7 trillion balance sheet that the Fed seems intent to want to keep, and the 7% U.S. deficit, I mean, these are major liquidity things that are pushing the nominal growth view higher. Okay, a lot to unpack there. Can we yeah. start with soft landing? Let's do it. What's the definition of a soft landing yep. when you're talking about mega nominal GDP growth mm -hmm. and we've got yeah. 300 and something thousand in payrolls growth last month? What is yeah. that? Yeah, so the, the soft landing view for us, and I'm really happy you asked this because it differs from Goldilocks. People throw this stuff around all the time. So the soft landing view for us is about a 2 to 2.5% 2 GDP growth rate. If trend growth in this country is 1.8, that's above trend growth, and inflation probably staying between 25 and 3% until the end of this year. And that, what we think, allows the Fed to very slowly and methodically bring rates lower, which is very, very different from where we came into this year when we were all at our New Year's Eve parties talking about eight rate cuts. And now we have only 60 basis what points. What kind of parties that for? Same parties say. you go to, John. Wild. They're <laughs> not sound like a party. Same parties you go to. So now we're only talking about 60 basis points of cuts. That's a very, very different Big environment. Change. That's soft landing. That's not Goldilocks. And that then leads us back to the large cap versus small cap trade and it leads us to the quality earnings story and the free cash flow story.